is up guys and welcome to the updated Buster Blader deck profile and welcome of course to October uh, spooky month uh, so yeah definitely got some exciting things planned for this month uh, a lot more content coming I uh, kind of just took September off really because you know the format's just not vibing really well with me but you know I'm deciding they could so catch a bunch of locals this month so we got a lot of content and a lot of fun stuff coming your way but yeah but so to kick off October I decided because I put a I vote long time ago on what deck profile would be next and be Buster Blader and I won that. So without further ado, let's just get right into the Buster Blader deck profile. Now, to start off, we're just going to get the Buster Bladers out of the way. First off, uh, we run two of the normal Buster Blader and of course one of the Buster Blader Destruction Swordsman. I mean, you don't want to run as too many of these guys. I mean, they're especially, I mean, honestly, they're kind of bricks in a sense, unless you have a certain setup. Uh, but mostly they're, they're in here for the name and also to send off, off the effects for your cards. But yeah, they're still cool. Love it. I love the OG, not OG, but the alternate artwork. And yeah. Next, we have, of course, the mini dragons uh, for the deck. Of course, we have the main and normal sum of the deck, including is the Buster Whip itself. It searches out the most important card of the deck, the uh, Trap Card Prologue. Yeah, it gets everything going. And of course, we have uh, our built-in uh, artifact scythe of the deck, uh, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. This card is absolutely nuts. And it shuts down people, it shuts down the extra deck. So yeah, <laughs> it's broken. Next, to round out the Buster Blader cards, of course, we have the most important card of the deck, Prologue. Uh, Prologue is honestly gets everything going. You send, uh, of course, let's say Memories with Prologues, and you basically get your Buster Dragon and your, uh, let's say, Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroying Swordsman out uh, instantly in that two-step combo. So yeah, it's really broken, and it just locks out your opponents uh, completely. And of course, we do have uh, we're running the branded build of Buster Blader. Uh, we're not running the Alber Jester of Dis uh, just uh, I forgot his name because he has to be normal summon and it kind of interferes with our Buster Whelp because that's our committed normal summon. But so we do have a small uh, branded engine, of course, the two Albaz, the Dark Hex Hill Fusion. Honestly, if you have a light, the light is so much better. I could not find a light, so I do have a dark, so I supplement it in that for uh, for the profile. But of course, if you have the light. Hex Seal Fusion, throw that in, it's so much better. And then of course we have the branded fusion, of course, and of course the one branded banishment so we can uh search it off. So yeah, branded engine is still super good. It's just a small little branded engine, nothing too crazy. We also run a small little I say dogmatica engine as well. Uh, we have of course the Ecclesia to search out our punishment, which is usually the last thing we'll be end up doing. And of course we have the Dogmatica Fertilis, because Fertilis is just utterly broken and a uh, pretty damn good of a card. So yeah. Next, another special summon engine for the deck. Uh, basically, this is just a uh, Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, a Buster Dragon Turbo, plus with a bunch of good stuff. Uh, Crusadia. Crusadia, honestly, is still one of probably one of the best special summon engines. Uh, if you get Draco, uh, you say, let's say, let's say, link it off from uh, say Magius and search out Maximus, search summon Maximus, and you can search out. It's just a cool combo you can do with them. Uh, Crusadias, I just love. And plus, they're super budget. Next, we're going to go through these for a little bit, uh, card by card. Uh, we have, of course, the Scythe, because uh, Scythe is honestly broken, because, of course, we have uh, the Destruction Swordsman. Why not? Uh, how to get Scythe? Uh, Artifact Sanctum, of course. Uh, and why we're we running only two Artifact Sanctum? Well, we are a Trap Trick deck, because we do run the Prologue. In case we, in case those weird hands where we open Prologue and Trap Trick at the same time, oh, sorry there, uh, we can use the Trap Trick to go into a Sanctum to then go into a Scythe, so, you know, you just have the double uh, extra deck lock, and plus, Scythe didn't get hit on the ban list, so it's going to be around again for a while. <laughs> And next, we're just going to go through some uh, just generic good stuff. Uh, two, uh, Keep of the Dragon Magic. This card is absolutely insane. Like, this card is nuts uh, right now. Uh, one Monster Reborn because it's insanely good. Uh, one World Legacy. Uh, let's say one let's say World Legacy Guard Dragon. It's just another Monster Reborn. Also, uh, a one for one to bring out, of course, our Buster Whelp. And then, of course, we have the two Dark Ruler No More because we want to break boards and then OTK. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's just probably one of the best, not one of the best cards, but it's, uh, it's up there. It's definitely up there. But yeah, that's it for the main deck. Let's go to the extra deck. Extra deck. We're going to go a little quick on it because it's nothing really too crazy. Of course, we have our Link Monsters. Uh, there's not that many. Uh, we, of course, we have one All Mirage, one Magius for our Crusadia combos, and of course, we have the one, I uh, say, say Protector Whelp. Honestly, these are all the Link Monsters you need because for the most part, you're going to be Synchroing and Fusioning. I uh, say Fusioning, yes. F fusion Summoning. So, yeah. Or Synchros. We do run one Virtual Shen Shen. Uh, we can uh, Synchro off into this 
or the red hot, uh, say hot red dragon arch from the abyss off our Buster Dragon before it pops itself. So we do have two rank nine, uh, not rank, but synchro nine options uh, to go into. Uh, depending on our situation going first or as you say depending on our situation of course we do run the two buster dragons the two buster dragons honestly in this build is very very nice uh so yeah because there's sometimes where you say have that grind state where you honestly might need the two buster dragons but yeah now on to the fusions for the fusions, of course, as you see in the main deck, we are running, of course, the branded engine. So we have two of the Albion, the branded dragon, the one Titanic clad, and of course, we do have the one of um, the Searing dragon, and of course, the one Ice Age. Actually, two Ice Ages. Uh, so yeah, this is our our branded uh, fusion um, engine we have. Honestly, it's it's just it's always good. It's just that good to run. I uh, I've been testing out Buster Blader branded builds for a while now, and they're a lot better than the Dragon Link builds because you know you always have the consistency with the branded. Uh, yeah, so it's insane. And then of course the last two cards, of course, is the Big Daddy Fusion himself. Uh, the kind of just the guy who just makes the deck come together, and he's just the big problem solver basically. Uh, Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer. Uh, swordsman so yeah love this deck if you guys are buster bladers a super fun and super awesome deck and it's super nostalgic and it's one of my like name stakes decks that i've always loved uh since it came out so yeah this has been the updated buster blader deck profile thank you guys for watching and until my next video stay safe and stay healthy i'll see you guys in the next one peace